Hello dear friends welcome to part 2 of our conversation with Miss Bela Sangwi In part 1 we spoke about Bela ji's view on spirituality and how she's delving deeper and we had conversations around it how a lot of her work is a result of her spiritual intersections evolution of Bela how her visit to the US and getting exposed to the Mughal collection out there and the associated weaving enamored her and got her into this industry how bela was invited by the government of india for her exceptional work she speaks about the bela sangwi designs purna kala avartan and navanidhi designs her four decades of experience and how the industry has evolved over the years and her point of view we dig deeper into bela the artist the consultant the revivalist and the designer all rolled into one a discussion about the weavers and what are some of the challenges they face on the ground in this part 2 of the podcast with bela we speak about weavers and how they are the ornate border of a sari she speaks about how an international brand is using an indian design bela's passion of patola and how she believes it is a design in a mathematical language the feedback that she continuously receives on her work her turning point in life her inspiration and her most satisfying moment when she got an opportunity to design a sari for none other than the great lata mangeshkar what can the country and the community as a whole do to support the weavers and how can we support the weaver community all this and more in this part of the conversation with bela sangwi stay tuned and let's enjoy this journey that brings me to the next question which i have spoken to you about offline and I'm, i i want your view on this i believe uh, bela ji that weavers are really the fabric of india uh, what is your view fabric of india is much larger but i can certainly say that the weavers of india are the handloom handicrafts and khadi all three of them combined together create a fantastic the ornate border okay of a sari not the whole fabric okay having said that it is still the second largest employer of india yeah. after agriculture correct it is still india is still having the highest numbers of hands in the whole world working on handloom handicrafts and khadi having said that the number of technologies that we have is the highest in the world so i'm really you know i don't know whether uh, everyone else is aware or not but before the colonial rule india had 28% of the world's wealth today america has only 24% yeah so you can imagine what kind of role india was playing at that time yes uh, spices uh, grains salt handloom and handicrafts they were the exports of india today we are looking at hari for fashion inspirations at that time even france was looking at india for fashion inspiration wow and taking the fabric just like today also i don't know whether you have uh, heard the news about gucci selling indian yes. kurta yes yeah yes. at yes. Uh, something like 2500 dollars dollars absolutely yes. i read it yeah. yes. and i love it yeah and that, this is you know this is and i was i was having a discussion uh, and i'm sure you probably know dr kostov as well i was having a discussion around uh, you know uh, patenting and protecting our trademarks and all that yeah but it's absolutely fabulous i was impressed i was feeling very proud and what they have done is so mediocre <laughs> yes They have done so mediocre. Lord, if they had come to me, I would have given them better uh, quality, uh, uh, you know, design and also Agreed. execution. Agree. 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 It is so pathetic. Yeah. And selling it, and I feel that sab kuch bikta hai. It will sell. I promise you, it will sell. Yeah. Yeah. It will sell. <laughs> Provided we have a backing of brands like Gucci, or we create our own brands. Yes. I completely agree with you. It's fantastic. So that's that's great. I really liked what you said. And and when you say when you say we have the highest number of technologies in this space, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? What do you mean by it? I 
can tell you that uh, in handloom and handicrafts, I mean, the book that I'm writing, I have uh-huh. already identified more than 386 different techniques, oh my which God. are different techniques in India. I'm not even talking about abroad. Oh my goodness. So you can imagine how rich we are. No wonder we were Sone Ki Chidiya at that time. Yeah, seriously. Oh my goodness. And today we have all the potentials to become Sone Ki Chidiya again. Completely. Provided uh, we give the right importance to the right things. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, moving on. And I'm, I'm probably going to see your eyes light up again when I use the word Patola. And I, and I love the way you describe it and you're very, very, very deeply. It's about a, it's about showing a chocolate to a kid, right? So when I say Patola, Vela's eyes light up. So, uh, yeah, Patola and but, Ashawal first loves. <laughs> tell us more about it. Tell, tell us what's a Patola and, and let the listeners uh, get more information, please. Patola is a challenge which, you know, it's designed in mm-hmm. a mathematical language. Oh, okay. And to me, I still am playing with it. It's not like, uh, you know, when you play too much, you get bored. I think after 41 years also, I'm still not bored with Patola. It's such an interesting uh, technique to work with. I'm sure all of the viewers must be watching computers or working with computers. Absolutely. When you increase a design, You see pixels. Correct. Correct. Those are the pixels with which we have to create design. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine that? My goodness. That is the fascination. And that also in a particular size, in a particular way, so that it becomes easier to execute it. Say if there are in one repeat, if there are 60 parts. Okay. All those 60 parts have to be accounted for okay. and yet create an, uh, uh, a complete design. Okay. So each and every design that we create uh-huh. is a challenge and it's constantly changing. It's not like uh, once you have finished the design, it's done. Right. No. Uh, the customer will come and say, no, 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 this is this is not what I want. I want this change. Oh, okay. Okay. And we indulge our customers in, to such a level that we do change the whole design for them. So it's very, very fascinating uh, to work in this technology. Uh, a lot of people get very enamored by the price or by the name. Right. But for me, it's that mathematical calculation. You know, it creates the limits. So beyond to push the limit or to go beyond the limit, really, really interesting. And that is fascinating. Till today, uh, each and every design which we have introduced Mm -hmm. have opened another chapter for us. So it's I don't know how to explain without one knowing uh if you go to my youtube channel i have actually shown this in a in a practical manner that without visual it's difficult to uh, you. you know kind of talk about it yeah. but it's a very complex and yet very very simple technology i i wish uh, somebody some mathematics professor listening to this takes it up and talks about this in his next class that's how you teach it's, right uh, even a professor will find it challenging. Yeah. It's that complex. It's amazing. And hence, since 12th century mm-hmm. till 1980s, mm-hmm. there were about one or two new designs created. There were no other new designs created. Oh my God. And we just opened the key to that new design. Okay. Okay. And now we are able to do oh. the floods of design. Brilliant. 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 Uh, you, you have, you, you actually, your work has gone international, Bela, and uh, you have received obviously some very encouraging feedback. I want you to share with us at least one or two really nice things people say 
either when they meet you or when they touch and feel or look at your designs something that stays that has stayed on top of your mind i'll share one incident with you please uh i was having exhibition at the nehru center in london okay and obviously i displayed everything all that and i was talking to a very dear friend at that time mm-hmm. explaining the history of the particular that particular textile okay and how fascinating it was that uh, portuguese people would wait for months together at mumbra port to buy that particular textile uh in you know in when a uh, uh, python was known as pratishtha mm-hmm. so all this was you know a general explanation given to a dear friend of mine mm-hmm. and behind somebody else was listening which i was not even aware of i mean my small little world so i'm not aware of too many celebrities and too many people who are politically connected and all that so i don't know who the person is but she's listening ha chalo aa jao conversation so we start uh, talking about different things and suddenly she says why don't you i am inviting you to display at the house of lords i'm like oh huh? wow <laughs> house of lords wow then uh, may i know who am i talking to because i oh, oh, oh i'm sorry let me just introduce myself that i am baroness shreela fathers wow and uh, i didn't even know who she was uh and i said yeah sure if you get me in i will certainly display what is that i mean it was just like a casual conversation when somebody offers something you just say yeah yeah of course i'll do that right right now uh what happened was that this exhibition at nehru center was a hit so we sold a lot of pieces okay we were left with very very few pieces nice so uh no no it was not so nice at that time uh right. because uh baroness wanted us to showcase it in a in two weeks time frame oh okay so you don't have time to make new designs okay i didn't have time to make correct correct whatever was ready in my i mean uh, after i left uh, uh, for london whatever was ready in my workshops i called urgently mm-hmm. even then i didn't i felt that i didn't have enough right so i told baroness that hello the hall will look at are just don't worry mm-hmm. just bring the uh, this thing and i want to show what i have been talking about uh-huh. about my sarees is act- actually true that what you are saying is proving whatever i've been telling them awesome. and you actually have samples to show Awesome. That is good enough for us. So I literally had just two bags. Okay. And the security, and yeah. I don't understand too much. So uh, the helper of uh, Paranus was with us, and they took us inside. And like, I just asked for two tables. Okay. She had arranged for four tables. Okay. Now we didn't have enough for four tables, but we still. had to spread everything Correct. so fortunately for me it just worked out in such a way that each and every piece was displayed in a different way oh okay okay because there was so much of space we had to fill it up so they could see all this mm. they obviously bought it for a different reason they were not sari wearers themselves <laughs> but i literally sold almost one and a half bag full of clothes that day. my goodness so for me more than the words glorious yeah this was what was uh, what was i don't think anybody must have displayed at the house of lords itself it's an endorsement of your work right also it, it, it's somebody for me it was a very very proud moment absolutely fantastic congratulations when i told this to my t my uh, viewers they didn't understand the house of yeah. uh, lords and they didn't understand uh, sri la flathers correct correct and uh, understandable but when they heard that i sold so much and how much people appreciated that what chaps they were absolutely 
in great. heaven great great that their work is being went all the way to london uh, yes. and i had to explain them that this like divane khas in delhi correct <laughs> uh, that uh, when the bachcha sits right there's no bachcha and all that but right. when the bachcha sits there is a house of there's a, a house of commons and a house of lords correct so in the house of lords that i that is when it they realized that their work was so valued and to me these are the moments which i value because they felt proud of their work beautiful beautiful very 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 nice mila what has been if you remember what has been or what was really the turning point in your life very simple when i saw <laughs> the uh, ashawal for the first time and really? i fell in love with ashawal it was it has such depth of work which very very few textiles has uh and i believe that because of that love my work has got depth and i'm not talking about the depth of intellect but mm-hmm. actual visual depth wow. and to me that's precious really if i had started with banaras or if i had started with something else right i don't think i would have understood the depth that they're talking about okay okay and how to utilize it in the design interesting that happened because of kukul ji so so that leads Amazing. to me i think kukul ji changed my life the way i was looking at things it must be 10 11 interactions not more she was just then not interested because i had reached a particular point that Uh, there was nothing for her to criticize much so uh, she would, she just said that send me the samples if i feel uh, that it requires changes i will re- send you a note i haven't received a single note after that beautiful so i do believe that she has changed my life very nice awesome so which brings me to the next question and and, and i don't know what the answer is but who or what has been your inspiration i think each and every individual that comes in front of me wow who challenges me okay uh say for example recently i was doing some work on sherwanis oh, okay normally the sherwanis will have the buttons made out of uh the kapda and i think i saw that work and it blew me off but you yeah, but, you, but you please talk yeah yeah <laughs> no no you must have seen the other work where it is made out of actual embroidery correct correct whereas no whereas uh, i felt that that would not be right in this particular uh, there's a green sherwani which i had designed for my brother's son's wedding for my brother wow and i felt that green on top of green will get lost correct so i wanted something else okay and uh, it was my brother's son's wedding so i wanted to go all out so i created uh, i actually created uh, i'm fascinated by lotuses okay and especially how each and every religion looks at lotus and i'm not just talking about all the sanatan dharma uh, religions but also other uh, religions how they look at lotus correct right. so for me the life cycle of lotus from the seed to the bud to a half bloom to the full bloom again coming into the seed that fascinates me tremendously wow so i utilize that for my uh Uh, that as a motives for enameling those buttons my for my mother's son's wedding i don't know how many people actually saw it uh, because button is only about this right. big and the sherwani was uh, fully hand embroidered with single tar embroidery my goodness so and that also full uh, full work so it was looking as if it was the fabric itself uh so i don't think people noticed the buttons but when i spoke about it if actually created a whole industry in jaipur creating these buttons obviously it existed before that also but the 
the kind that we had done uh -huh. i think uh, we ourselves have given orders for almost 50 pairs of buttons My. and now we are venturing into kurta buttons okay and each and every one of them is hand created it's not nothing is machine done oh, okay so so many karigars eat because of one design correct very nice that to me is precious awesome awesome and in this pandemic they are extremely grateful for these the orders beautiful what till date has been your most satisfying moment if i were to ask you to pull out one i don't know whether i should be sharing this or not but anyway <laughs> it's out to the public anyways uh for lata tai okay um mrs goenka uh used to gift her mm -hmm. a sari not just a sari but many saris mm -hmm. but for special occasions especially she would gift her a sari being a very good customer she came to the studio and she said bela ji uh lata tai ke liye sari orders karni hai order karni mm -hmm. at that time i had just finished one sari which is in which was in yellow color with a whole white background with very small nazakat wala design in the border in the patola in the weft patola so she loved it and she picked it up for her mm -hmm. so i thought you know she gives a lot of sarees to lata tai and when it was tele when the event of her 60th birthday was televised that's when i realized that that sari was worn by lata tai oh, for the 60th birthday brilliant. and also for the 75th birthday and the 70th birthday although important birthday she you wore a sari yeah no no not the same sari a different sari designed by me oh that's but amazing. every time it was designed by me and it felt so good yeah. it felt so good yeah and it was not as if we were trying very hard or something Right. It was just a, it was a ready piece that she picked up at that time, and obviously she ordered many for Lata Ji, but that was a very satisfying moment for me. That's brilliant. I'm a, in fact, also Kishori Amunkar. I'm a big yes. fan oh, of okay. Kishori Amunkar. Yes. And for her granddaughter's wedding, she was not interested in uh, you know kind of uh, uh, dressing up and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basic neat dressing was what she was, uh, you know. Uh, but for that, the granddaughter insisted that I want you to buy a sari. Okay. So she came to the studio actually, <laughs> and to me, I was like, "Oh my God, yeah, my Bhagwan has come to a, the studio." <laughs> she's a legend. I mean, yeah, were... yeah. So she wore that sari for the granddaughter's wedding. That was very satisfying for me. Such incidences automatically just has happened to me. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and it has, you know, it has been very, yeah, satisfying. Yeah, and you know, it can't even be measured in money. That's what I meant. You know, it is so, it is so, it is so gratifying that your work is out there. Uh, yeah, and uh, people like them who understand art. Correct. Correct. are able to understand what i have created in a different frame of art yeah because they are not the people who will walk into a shop and buy the most expensive sari i mean at least um, kishori ji is not exactly. that way at all yeah you know exactly exactly people. and uh, when the daughter said that she enjoyed when she, when the and so shortly after that unfortunately yeah. kishori ji Sorry, passed yeah. away uh, but i Uh, she said that she was the, she wore that as a last sari of hers so to me so that was such a satisfying uh, experience that i was able to give her what she loved the most so i appreciate that yeah lovely lovely we are now uh, you know as we go towards the last few questions one of the things i wanted to ask you bela ji was uh, what can uh, the government and maybe we as a community do more to support the weavers Very simple. Mm -hmm. Buy handloom, handicrafts, and khadi. Wear it and flaunt it on social media. Very nice. If anything that you are wearing, let it be a coat, let it be a sari, let it be a blouse, let it be a skirt, let it be a kurta, 
or sherwani or whatever you prefer even dhoti but it has to be handloom handicrafts and khadi mm-hmm. and just simply flaunt it on social media that is how a trend is created i think louis vuitton became louis vuitton because of obviously good quality but because a lot of people are flaunting his name just flaunt what you are wearing which technology research which technology you are wearing and flaunt it simple no big formulas for this if you are buying 10 machine made outfit buy 3 but all 3 made out of handloom handicrafts and khadi beautiful beautiful it's very 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 interesting and that's a good point you bring about actually yeah so well i don't believe in uh, uh, complex technology that you do this and then you do this no this yeah. is simple melody there are and we spoke about it before this podcast and i want you to talk about it now as well there are quite a few people out there uh, who are uh, you know good samaritans who are well meaning and and uh, covid has thrown up a lot of really really good people out there uh, they they would like to support enterprises such as yours and the good work that you're doing so would you like to would you please share with the listeners how we can uh, approach or support you is there a website is there a social media handle how can bela sangli be reached what can we do please tell us in in detail uh i have presence on uh three social media platforms mm-hmm. uh linkedin mm-hmm. facebook and insta okay i have a showcase website okay under my uh, brand yeah these are the three platforms that i have you okay. can reach me okay if you want to support us okay please give us work okay we are not looking for free money okay. what we are looking for is work for our carigars and little bit of operational cost okay. that's it we are not asking for uh, amazing amount of our cut actually our cut is 10% just so that we can sustain ourselves we don't charge so much i mean a uh, lot of people will not believe this but we ensure that the carrier is well paid so that he does not run away from this work because other areas are paying so much more and for a highly skilled carrier this is an insulting situation correct correct so give us work we will give you fabulous work that's all i'm asking for awesome i'm not asking for any oh donate so much donate this no we are doing whatever we can to support mm-hmm. carigars we have actually enrolled almost 122 carigars extra Okay. who were in our are not under our umbrella mm-hmm. but we do need to make sure that we have enough work especially for those carigars who are highly skilled carigars to develop that level of skill takes a long time and also many a times it's not possible to develop that yeah yes work okay awesome good good i we will we will we will ensure that you know i will uh, we will put it up uh, we will share your websites and all of that and post it uh, before i get into the the last section of my uh, of my podcast which is a little lighter um i one of the things i wanted to ask you as, as i was listening to you and, and these carigars have been in in work for 20 30 40 50 years like you have been uh, do you see the work being passed on to their generations or are the younger generation of theirs not interested bela ji uh they are in two minds okay okay um see you have to recognize that the, the tv and the social media yes. has brought in amazing expectations from life completely completely and they also have a right to have a better life 100% 100% how do we give them a better life they are very interested in the father's work okay but that father's work is not giving them a better life yeah and that's the ground reality correct to most of the carigars uh, children have gone for higher studies right which is good very good i'm not uh, very good uh, i'm not offended by that they also have a right to right uh, higher education mm-hmm. 
some of them, after having the higher education, come back. Brilliant. 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 Because they understand the relevance of the whole. Yeah, correct. How to market it well. And to me, that is precious. But it's the middle range carriers. Their uh, children are more enamored by more money. And why not? They also have a right to uh, have a wonderful life. And I think they might not come back. They might not come back. But that is a reality which uh, we will have to face. So is the government doing more? Should they be doing something different uh, as a whole ecosystem? And I don't know the Can answer. I, I don't know the you? answer. Yeah, please. Uh, no, no. Uh, I used to be very, very involved with the government. Uh-huh. Uh, 11th five-year plan. Right. I was the keynote speaker. Right. Uh, then I was the secretary to the what was that? Huh? Sri Venkatachari committee. Okay. Of handling revival right. in Maharashtra, I have written lot of policies hmm. for lot of new state governments. Hmm. Having said that, I don't know how effective it has been. It has been heard, but implementation is where question mark is. Correct, correct. I am not expecting too much from government because they have their own challenges. Absolutely, uh, I am not uh, criticizing them, but till today. Not even one suggestion of the whole Venkatachari committee has been implemented by Maharashtra government. So what did we do? After that, I, I think those three, five years, I was very, very involved. I was the uh, part of what you call the Chanderi task force. Okay. I mean, big, big names yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And realized that actually hardly anything was happening at the ground floor level. And unless things change at the ground floor level, things are not going to change yeah. for the industry. Yeah, it's a challenge. And I do believe that what government can do is make this handloom handicrafts and khadi as it it should be given a an industry status and not a kutir udyog. Okay. Kutir udyog means everything goes. Yes. And no perfect ecosystem is developed for an industry. So that needs to be developed. So if the industry status is given and certain lot of people believe that middleman has to be removed. I have a diagonally opposite opinion to that. It's this middleman hatao movement itself is the cause for all the Stability of handloom, handicrafts, and khadi. It's just the the pillars are gone. The marketing pillars are gone. Ah, I get you. We need to rebuild these pillars. I get you. We need to make sure that responsible uh, middlemen and marketing systems are offered. Yeah. And uh, this whole system of weaver ko yahan aake bechna chahiye. Then he's not a weaver. Correct. Who's a middleman? And I have Correct. I want middlemen to get developed. Correct. Who understands the problems of yeah. weavers? Yeah, absolutely. And presents it to the consumer and who understands the consumer's problems and solves it and gives it to the weaver to create. I do believe that I am a middleman. And I'm responsible and yeah. I make sure that they are paid fair. Yeah, that's but the- uh, but at this having said that. Do we go to Mr. Godrej's house? We buy the locks from him? No. Do we ask him what he is paying the uh, the carrier who's making the locks? Correct. You're right. Those are the right questions to ask. Yeah. That's true. The consumer true. also needs to be aware of. That's true. And and we are asking I... stupid questions that oh the viewer is only getting so much, but the the yeah. whole ecosystem. Can only offer a part of the pie, not the whole pie to the weaver. Correct, correct. Because there are other supporting uh, elements also in that. It's not that the only weaver is working over there. Yeah, and 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 you're right. You know, I, um, I so in my own way, I, I kind of support a lot of khadi and handloom, and I'm not as uh, educated as you are in this field, but uh, I do support it. And you know, there are there are times we used to go to Delhi and 
you know, the cottage industries road and we used to buy that. And you will not believe me, uh, Belaji, one of the t-shirts which was done by some uh, Kariger, handmade by some Kariger with a nice tree design. I bought it about 10, 12 years back. I still use it. I still use it. And this is phenomenal. But I think a lot of us suffer from, and we are, we are probably all of us are guilty of it. When you look at some of those, you feel it's expensive. And, and that's not the point. The point is, you know, it, it is done with a different ethos. Yeah, it is not run through a, a machine where you put on the button and it comes out at the end. It's somebody who's probably sitting cross-legged or uh, struggling with this illness and doing that. And I think that, it, so I agree with you, education, I think uh, the also, approach, also, the whole thing has to be found. Also the sustainability aspect, just see that 10, 12 years back, you yeah. bought one t-shirt yes. and you are enjoying it till today. Absolutely. The sari created by us is enjoyed by the third generation or the fourth generation. Think about it. This is sustainability is all about. Correct. Correct. And uh, this is what India has always had. Yes. Yes. Not that every time you had to have a new sari, yeah. uh, but you, uh, you re reused it in a different way. And, and you know, the best example of that is, we, and I hear that at home a lot and um, I, I'm in a family with four elder sisters. So uh, I, one, one always, yeah, it's lovely. One always hears that, you know, my mother's saris are still around and the ones that they have bought have gone off. And, and we always keep questioning, why does that happen? <laughs> exactly, because there were no stupid designers working yeah. on that. <laughs> the people who knew what was the history, yes. people who knew what was the tradition, they right. stuck to that. Uh, true. And that's why technologically, it's unchallengeable. Yes. Yes. And that's why today's saris by some other people will not last for a long time. I agree. Completely. Yeah. I, I totally appreciate your sisters yeah. for giving you this then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Having four sisters is having four mothers at home. Remember that. <laughs> but yeah, but it's absolutely true. And and then one would always figure out. And, and But to be, to actually say the truth, it's been, I mean, I, I lost my mother very early, but it's been so many years, Belaji, and they still wear it. Or my wife wears it. So the answer is clearly. Yeah, it is. Uh, so it's not just here and say it is. It is right there, out there. So awesome. Uh, on that, on that nice note, I want to jump into a rapid fire with you. Say whatever comes to mind. It's it's, it's your floor now. So uh, uh, I'm going to ask you, and you can tell me what you think. Your designs are future antiques. Future antiques. This is the first time I'm hearing this word, by the way. I do believe that the skills are dwindling. Yeah. True. True. Now with the high quality skills when we are creating mm -hmm. we warn the consumer that hello what you're buying is not just a piece of uh, fabric mm -hmm. what you're buying is this is not going to be repeated by first of all even today correct it cannot be repeated again correct we cannot create it again even if we create it, it will be a different version of it because it's handloom handicrafts and right right awesome secondly even after 100 years this is going to be there and the colors that we use the designs that we create are so classical that there is nothing in it that can go out of fashion. These are future, future antiques. Weavers are? Smart. Amazingly smart. Wow. They know exactly what they are doing. Khadi is? Is spun. You said spun. Handloom is? Is the weave of light. Oh, very nice. Art is? Expression of the soul. Swadeshi? Being proud Indian. Being proud Swadeshi, not just Indian, yeah. but for our own uh, desh. Bela Sangvi is? Still learning. Really? What can I say, Belaji? It's been, it's been a very engaging and very eye-opening uh, uh, time I've spent with you on this podcast. It's been over an hour and we've spoken about so many topics and frankly, I've got myself educated on a lot of them and uh, I'm sure the listeners are are going to probably make notes and uh, I'm hoping that we are able to, uh, you know, encourage more people to invest in, uh, I don't say spend, invest in our tradition, our legacy, handlooms, handicrafts and uh, and Khadi. That's that's what we need to do. And it's, it's and, and I like what you said. So uh, wear it and flaunt it. So, you know, let's, let's put it out there for people to see, read, 
and and this one and another small thing i like that you said is read up about what i am wearing so if i am wearing uh, a sari with 10 knots or 20 knots maybe i should do a little bit of reading and add that as well so that people can appreciate it and and not just say lovely color so yeah. huge, <laughs> huge learning for me i will uh, we will we will and act for on men also we have kurtas and uh, sherwanis oh really we create that also awesome awesome we will talk about that i will yeah. i will reach out to you offline of course uh, bela ji uh, any anything you would like to say in closing uh, to the listeners uh handloom handicrafts and khadi is our heritage we have a choice either we plant it or we just let it go uh, deep note uh, i want to thank you for coming to the studios and agreeing to do this talk i know you are you have your hands and legs full and uh, there are a lot of people depending on you for their livelihood and i know you take your role very very seriously bela i thank you very much for agreeing for this podcast it means a lot to us thank you thank you thank you very much for inviting me to save a few words about uh, the work many a times it's not understood so you have given me opportunity to explain myself right. thank you thank you very much <laughs>